Welcome to the channel. This is a very short video on a follow-up for the Surecom SW111SWR meter. Because as if you saw my previous video, uh, you may remember that I, I was having a terrible readings on my SWR and that's why it's so important to have the meter, to, to get a good setup for your antenna so you don't damage the radio because a very high SWR means that the electricity that is going out through your antenna, some of that electricity will go back to the radio. And if you transmit for a long period of time, that will end up damaging your radio. So it is very, very, very important. So this is just a quick follow up to show you how I fix the problem and a quick remind, reminder on, on the setup of the meter. At the end, the solution was another antenna. As, as you may re remember, I was trying with a magnet antennas because I, I did want a very portable setup over here in my apartment. I'm not allowed to make uh, big installations, big antennas or whatever, so I wanted something very portable. But I tried with two magnet antennas, the K40 model K30 and the Nagoya UT72 I believe is the model. Both are very good antennas, but for CV antennas to work well, they need a ground plane and the ground, ground plane I was getting out of the a steel table I was using as ground plane, it, it is not enough. They are meant for cars and they need the, all the steel and the structure of the car to work properly. And I did learn that the lower the, the frequency, the longer the antenna you need. That's, that was a, a news to me. And that's why, let's say, on GMRS, which is a higher frequen frequency, you don't need that uh, such a big uh, ground plane for the antenna to work well. So, at the end, it was worth it. I, I learned, uh, I'm not an expert, a radio expert, I'm just an informed user. And at the end, it worked fine because I ended up taking the K40 model 30, K30 model to my car and is working very good and I'm gonna prepare a little video on that also. And I got a very, very good solution with the Fire Stick IVA5 base antenna which is designed for indoors and in small places like an apartment and I'm gonna show you soon the, the quick the, the setup on that. So let me show you the, the new readings which I'm satisfied then I'm on 1.2 on channel 1, 1.2 on channel 20 and 1.4 on channel 40. I can fine-tune the tip of the antenna a little to get maybe a uh, and better reading on channel 40, but this setup is great. The SWR readings are very good, so I'm very happy with it. And let me show you how it's reading now. Set up. As I told one of my viewers, Felipe, that he told me, hey, the President McKinley has a SWR uh, reader uh, on it. Yes, uh, actually it does. But 
The purpose of these videos is to show how the Surecom works. I had the Surecom before I purchased the McKinley, so I still use it for my car setup, and so I wanted to show how to use it because when I bought the meter, it was uh, very hard finding information on how to properly use it. And, and that's it. So here is the, it's already set up, set up. Just a quick reminder, remember, this go to the transmitter, the cable, the cable you need to purchase. I'm gonna leave again all the links for the cable, the meter. So if you want to buy it, don't forget to buy this cable because it, it is a must to have it. And over here, is the antenna connection that goes all the way to the solution I told you about it that's the new antenna it is a very cool setup I'm gonna uh, prepare a little video about it and let's do some readings so I can show you it's already on channel one remember you have to put the switch, the left switch up is on the SWR reading and you need to cali calibrate this. Uh, let me set up for a moment this little tripod so to see if I can use so sorry guys I was Okay. Okay, now you are going to see the reading. So, you put the left button up and you key the Microsoft the microphone and you calibrate. You see how it's moving? You put it right on the set. It's done and you take the switch down and you key up again and you can see the reading 1.2 that's a very good reading now I'm gonna switch to channel 40 we are gonna calibrate again press the the mic calibrate a little Take the switch down again and key up again. 1.4 on channel 40. And just, I always read at the mid of the band on channel 20. So I'm going to channel 20, calibrate again. Okay. And there it goes, 1.2. It's working very fine, and that's why it's so important to have this this meter, guys. If you have a CV, you need a meter uh, to, to be testing the antenna and the readings for that. And that's about it. It's a, a very cheap and but very cool meter, and I'm going to link the leave the the links on the description and try to subscribe to the channel i have some nice videos coming i'm gonna do one of the fire stick antenna i'm gonna do some testing with this surecom uh, medio in a meter in my car and i'm gonna show you how to do it in the car and with a handheld cv and then I'm gonna do two videos. One on my home setup for CV and GM RS radios. I have both. And one for my car setup, especially for road trips uh, with both uh, radios, the CVs and the GM RS. So try to subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.